set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Jacksonville. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. On play action, Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. Straight ahead, ETN. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Next to receivers, they'll spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. Open man right side is Ingram. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 45 on second down, Lawrence. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run with ETN. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. On first down, right back to ETN. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Ten yards there, good enough for the Jags first down. And they'll go again with ETN. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Lawrence. He'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. That will first and 10 at the 11. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. No score after one on EA Sports. From the five, second and four. Rush in, rush in, rush in. 
Switch it, switch it, switch it, Theo, switch it. Running out of the gun with ETN. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. That was a terrific play causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them as he did there. On third down, Lawrence rolling to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Fields on first down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. On the ground, it's Montgomery. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On fourth down, Fields steps away to his left. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. A shotgun snap, Fields steps away, and he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate 
the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. On first down, Lawrence. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Mm, close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline it was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in this case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And they'll run with ETN. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On second and goal, Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And they'll try to run with ETN. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave them with a fourth and goal. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in, and if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high because mentally you're saying, hey, if you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get about three here up to the 44-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this off. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Chicago. Valus Jones. 56 yards, and the Bears go up by two touchdowns. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Yeah. 
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. A throw down the field caught by his running back. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Good work after the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. 